Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We have so many fantastic community members, uh, both on youtube.com, those who visit the podcast blog at media.perillo.com, and of course, live.perillo.com, and one of the people there is Lynn, and Lynn has just been absolutely fantastic. I don't think I could ask for more from uh, community members, and she's really handy with the digital paintbrush, too. She said something through a, a private ICQ message. Yes, I still use ICQ, an instant messaging platform that was, well, in my opinion, it was, I think it was, if it wasn't opinion, I think it was fact that it was one of the first instant messaging platforms on the internet. Uh, she said something, and I'm just going to read verbatim from her message, and I hope she doesn't mind. Uh, when someone is editing a photo or doing PC art, remind them to always save, save, save all along the way. So if your program crashes or you want to go back to an older version of what you were doing, you will have it saved. Then, when you have finished and burned a CD or whatever, you can delete all the files with the steps if you want to. Same goes for writing, like blog posts or whatever. And I'm in complete 1 million percent agreement with Lynn. Uh, it's it's not so much a question, it's just something that a lot of people kind of skip over. One of the first things I do inside of any program that I plan on entering data into or editing inside is check for an option to do automatic incremental saves. For instance, Windows Media Player, or I'm sorry, Windows Movie Maker, wrong Windows software there, uh, such, a, such an amazing name, uh, Movie Maker, uh, has an option for you to automatically save at certain points in time. Uh, it's set at a higher threshold, a higher minute count. I like saving any kind of automatic setting, as far as file saving goes or incremental saves go, uh, at three minutes. That way if the program crashes, I've only lost three minutes of productivity and I can go back uh, when I reopen the program and it has the ability to uh, get back what I may have lost. The, uh, there's also an option that's been around for a few versions inside of like office programs like Microsoft Word. Uh, I, there too, I always set it at three minute increments. I've had times where something's happened, the program crashes or, um, the, well, whatever, I lose whatever I had done, but at least I've only lost three minutes of what I had uh, tried to complete before the program went kaput for some reason or another. Um, there is, oh, control S, every second for you, Zoomrix, uh, every second may be a bit too much. Of course, what Lynn is talking about is a bit different. She's saying save out that file as a copy incrementally, which is also a very valid point. I've done that at points in the past too, especially if I like where I am with a certain file and then I want to go back a couple of steps. Uh, this is always something good for you to check. Um, instead of editing my blog posts online, you'll very often see me open up an email window. You may not know I, that's what I'm doing, but I've got an email window open, and that's where I typically compose my blog posts. Uh, that way, I've got it sitting right there on my desktop. Outlook automatically saves a message in drafts every three minutes, uh, so I've always got it. Because um, I've had times where I've gone to the web, uh, I've typed every, something in, and all of a sudden, it wasn't there. Or the page timed out, and I lost all all that data and nothing is more frustrating than having poured your soul out into this and have it completely erased uh, when you went back to look at it and unfortunately that's uh, uh, something that's happened to a lot of people Ponzi included and for that reason I tell her to blog offline and I've tried to find a few blog editors for her to use including the Windows Live Writer which she's kind of taken to a few people out there like Ecto on OS 10 uh, for editing blog posts in an offline capacity uh, to be synchronized online, whether you are online already or offline. It's just a safer way of editing, whether you're typing in text for a blog or whether you're um, you know, typing in, uh, well, a Word document. You don't want to do it online, like through Google Docs, just in case something might happen. Uh, you always want to have that uh, option available to you to have these things automatically saved. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. So if you haven't already looked into the automatic saving feature of an editor, whether it be an image editor like Photoshop or whether it be uh, a text editor, well, I guess we'll, like Word, uh, check for your autosave opportunities uh, because you, that may very well save a lot of frustration at some point in the future. Uh, now, if you have any other tips or tricks related to automatic saves and how it may have saved your digital bacon at some point in the past, we'd love to hear it. Leave a comment or swing by and let us know at live.perillo.com. We're here 
24 hours a day. 